Good morning and happy Vlogmas. Yes, I'm looking crazy because I am in my bed and I decided to do this video at the last minute because I want to share some things with y'all and I know I'm off on Vlogmas so what I decided to do is combine my days. I have day one already posted, two, three, and four is going to be in this video so let me tell you what we're gonna jump into we're gonna jump into my first day back at the gym we're going to jump into my birthday okay because your girl turned 37 i know right i know right like <laughs> can you believe it i hope you enjoy it and then we're going to get into I might do five and six in one video. I think three is much, but we gonna get it done. Like, cause that's what we do, we get it done, right? All right, so yeah, so let's jump right into it. Oh, and it is like Vlogmas Day. I'm getting the days confused, so girl, every video I'm gonna hop on here like, happy Vlogmas! Y'all, math, y'all math, and we gonna be on the day that we supposed to be on, okay? Yep what is up what is going on i am back y'all welcome back to my channel the baby is leaving so i'm trying to keep it down excuse my nails because my daughter still has to do them we back on this fitness journey and i am i don't even know how to feel because i am six weeks postpartum as of yesterday Ooh. and your girl beat postpartum preeclampsia i'm officially done with my medication and I'm so grateful for that. I cannot believe how difficult that journey was for me. Long story short, when I got home from the hospital, I ended up getting rushed back because I got home and I saw my feet were like so, so swollen. Like the, my house shoes were leaving an imprint on my feet where it was like dented in. It was so, so crazy. Like I looked like I had elephant feet. Like my feet have never looked like that because of the new exposure and awareness that everybody is putting on social media today i decided that i'm gonna take my blood pressure cuff because if you over 30 you need a blood pressure cuff in your house girl i don't i know we still young but just in case keep the devices around and the medication I took my blood pressure cuff out and something told me to just check my blood pressure i'm gonna say it was the holy spirit because lord when i checked it it was 171 over a hundred something so i called my doctor and they told me to go straight to the hospital my husband rushed me there they had me on this magnesium drip i didn't want to be there without my baby but they said as long as the my husband or somebody was going to be there to help watch her that she could still stay with me so that was like and y'all know i've i've struggled with issues in the past with anxiety so it was like a lot for me to go through all of that but I was readmitted to the hospital for three extra days and I mean I had so many breakdowns so many meltdowns I'm like why is this happening to me you know um I was just going through the motions y'all and even after that for like a full week I was still going through the motions because I just did not understand why I didn't go back to just being normal how I was before my pregnancy it was like Lord you know I want to get back to me you know I've been trying to push through this and having faith through this pregnancy i really want me back i want to be my healthy best self and so today is the first day that i have an opportunity to pursue that and to walk in that i've been changing my eating habits to combat um the postpartum preeclampsia and my blood pressure has been normalized praise my heavenly father but yes it's time to get this body back and the thing about it for the gym for me is the gym is my only outlet, honey. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't go out. I don't really do very much. Um, so the gym, that's my thing. That's, that's, that's my thing. And to have sacrificed that for the last six six months has been a mental struggle for me y'all mentally i have been struggling i have been going through so many just just going through the motions 
because I have not had a physical outlet or just the outlet in general. So today, mm -mm -mm -mm. today we are back and I have no idea what my body is gonna give in the gym. I'm gonna take my time with myself, but whew, I just know the beast in me is gonna awake and be like, girl, where have you been? Like, let's let's do this. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I was nervous about how I was going to look in my clothes. Y'all, look. This is what the fit, gym fit is looking like. And the postpartum body. Call me Big Mom. Because I am her right now. Um... But yeah, I just decided that I'm going to showcase myself from beginning to end on this journey. I think I'm still around 180 pounds. When I left the hospital, I was 190. Um, well, when I got home from the hospital, I was 190. Now I'm 180. I lost 10 in like a month. I am still nursing, just for context. Um, but yeah, let's do this. I don't even want to waste no more time. You understand me? I'm trying to get in there, okay? So I'm gonna have me a little pre-workout snack, which is gonna be some watermelon, um, some granola, and an egg. And yeah. <laughs> you know, was this is this has been so hard for me that I know I'm gonna cry at the gym. And it's it's hard to articulate like why I will be crying at the gym, but it's just been such a long road, y'all. It has been such a long road, and um, it's been a lonely, hard journey. And not to say that I don't have people to support me, but when you're going through your personal internal struggles and maybe going through transitions in life. And you, you're really backed into a corner. It's hard for you, especially when you've cut all of your, you know, vices out of your life. For, of course, for the better. But anyway, enough of all that. Not only that, but my birthday is in three days. So I just ordered my dress. I think I'm just doing dinner. Nothing crazy, y'all, because I got three kids now. We got to plan differently. The holidays going to happen, and yeah. Yeah, we trying to save some little coins. We're trying to save some coins. I'm going to just keep it chill. I'm still going to celebrate myself, but I want my kids to have a great birthday, great Christmas, and we got a lot of planning to do in my household. So, anyway, enough of that. Enough about me. I hope everything is good with you. Out of here y'all i'm about to go crazy in the gym y'all don't even know like do y'all know how much anger and frustration and just disappointment and just sadness i have had to repress i can let all that go i can let all that go today and i need to i need to so yeah, let's do this. <laughs> My headphones are not working and you know what I don't know how this is gonna stay but as much as I was looking forward to vibing out you know it's all good that's something new that I'm learning is everything ain't always gonna be what you want it to be so what do we do pivot and keep it moving 
So I brought some backup headphones just in case because I ain't wore those in a while. Mm. And I forgot to put on my breast pads anyway. Let me see if these charged. Okay. Okay, a little charge. Because the one thing I hate doing is working out with no music. But baby, I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to start singing in there if I have to. Start rapping in there if I have to. Drop a couple bars. I'm just playing. Okay, are we connected? What is it giving? Okay, we got one headphone that's working. Just this side. That's okay. I forgot to put my breast pads in. I don't want to be leaking during my workout, so let me do that. glad I did it okay let me just say I'm glad that I did it this is just day one of my postpartum workout journey and it wasn't everything that I'm used to okay but I'm going through this I've gone through this two three times it's the third time okay <laughs> Ooh, that first workout be the worst but I actually feel pretty good about it um you know I had a, ch a chance to see my postpartum body I am going to be sharing my progress with you guys stay tuned for that um yeah and let's go home eat something healthy and stay one I'm so proud of myself my birthday is in a couple days I just feel good I feel good now it does mess with my head looking in the mirror I ain't gonna hold you up but I've gone through this I've been through this and if you haven't purchased my book show up for yourself so you can know exactly what I am doing to get my body back at the healthiest and get my mind you know back at the best version that it can be you know it's hard okay for women to have children our bodies don't even recover for one full year okay that is scientifically proven even though we get we get cleared in six weeks we are not the same i think it's over a year they said one year i think it's more than a year another thing i've never ever started my postpartum journey this early my postpartum journey has always begun probably at month four month four five whatever maybe six 
and with my first daughter it was like maybe three four maybe four um so right now I'm just day one cleared six weeks yesterday and I'm starting early because I just want to know that I'm doing all that I can do and that's the thing when you start your health journey it's not about comparing your body to the next person that's you know somebody else's postpartum snap back whatever whatever we don't snap back baby we snap up we snap up we snap up it's new levels new um a new mindset you know it's we're new we have our, our new version of ourselves after we have children and we have to give ourselves some grace men can't do this they weren't designed to do this because they couldn't okay period a man could never anyway that's what we do as women that's why who run the world girls like Beyonce said mm -hmm. if you haven't learned by now I'm a feminist <laughs> but anywho um yeah we back in this shit forgive me for cussing but we are here you know what I'm saying like there has to be some type of celebration in the journey there is glory in the pursuit we are here you know I don't see a lot of people document their journeys to success their journeys to whatever goals they're trying to achieve and that's the part for me that I need to see you know what I'm saying so that's what I want my channel to be about now it's just showing you know my journey to whatever God's purpose for my life is you know um, I've surrendered my will I've done that so y'all just gonna see what this ride looks like hop in come along all I know is I'm gonna be showing up for myself the whole way and I hope you join me cuz girl or <laughs> sir we got this I mean it was so cringe filming in there y'all ain't that what the kids be saying cringe but whatever I'm just like <laughs> y'all know that mean you know we just gotta start doing it man be overthinking I'm an overthinker because I'm a Libra okay I overanalyze overthink and I end up with analysis paralysis all the time all the time about everything it's crazy so anyway we're done with that we're stepping into a new chapter you know what I'm saying chapter 37 listen I'm a wife and a mother of three and I am figuring life out as I go okay I do not have it all together on this channel over here. Listen, over here, you're going to be learning how I'm getting through and how I'm figuring life out and showing up for myself, you know, and facing it out. Y'all about to see all that. Sometimes it's cute and sometimes it ain't. I'm going to be taking y'all along this ride. Y'all stay blessed and keep showing up for yourself no matter what your life looks like. Keep showing up. I'm going to hold you accountable. You hold me accountable. And we, do, we, we in this. We doing this. Okay. And look at my balloons, y'all. It's me and my baby. And look at my balloons. 37 years ago, I was, uh, I woke up with my water hat, so. Were you in the bed? I was in the bed. Yeah. And the bed was wet? And the bed was wet. Yeah. <laughs> so I called my mom, and she came over, and we went on to the hospital. Oh. Yeah, it was such a joy, because I was looking forward to a girl. Oh. And it was you. And back in that day, you really didn't know uh, what the sex of the child was. You didn't know if I was going to be a girl or a boy? No. Until I was born? Right. 
Are you serious? I am serious. I prayed for a girl. Oh my goodness. And sure enough, gave her. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I didn't know that. Bye. Bye. I love you. Because they don't have gender. Yeah, they don't have those. You have a blessed day. Okay? Oh my gosh. Wow. And so, yeah, it was the most pleasurable experience that I had because I was looking so forward to uh, you being born and the labor, you know, how labor can be intense. Mm. Um, it was intense, but it wasn't all bad for me because I was excited about you. How were you so Coming excited if you me. didn't know if you were having a boy or girl? <sighs> you had a good feeling? I had a really good feeling about it. Oh, yeah. So when they when I came out and they were like, "It's a girl." Yeah, yeah. I was excited. I oh. had prayed. I had prayed a long time. You know that uh, you would be a girl. I would have a girl that looked just like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so you know, it happened. And no. what a joy it was, and what a joy you still are. Oh, it's so sweet for my mommy. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you, mommy. I'm gonna come on, come get in the camera. Huh? Come on, Granny, you look so good. <laughs> come Girl, on, come on, girl. get your hair and stuff then. Do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Granny, you look good. Mama, you look so pretty. You don't oh, need all that. Geez, I'm just... Every time, every time she sees me with no makeup, you so pretty with no makeup. You don't need oh. all that stuff. Well, I can't even get her on the camera. I'm right here, I am. Look at my mommy. <laughs> That's my beautiful mommy. She went, how old were you when you had me? 31? I was actually 31 years old. 31, same age I was when I had ever. Yeah. So, yes. Thank you, mommy. Mm. And she came all the way from Michigan to stay here with us for seven whole weeks to help me with the babies. She been cooking, she been cleaning, she been helping with the kids. Everything you can think of. The only thing she ain't done yet is rub my feet. <laughs> yeah, everything. You can think of. <laughs> Spending money. Yes, <laughs> Ella got her hair did. Um, we Don't all talk been like spoiled. gorilla now. And uh, we all been spoiled since Mama been here, and she gonna have the nerve to leave us tomorrow. Well, <laughs> well, what we nothing. gonna do, y'all? Well, well, what to we gonna do? Home. We're gonna be all right. Yeah, y'all will be fine. Y'all will be no, fine. No, you have to stay here. Huh? I'll come back. I demand you stay she here. She said, I demand. You demand? Yes. Well, honey, I have a home to go to. Yeah, she got a home too. So. Well, that home is just, it can, it can wait a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> what if I go home and then I come back? Okay. How about that? Gotta celebrate my birthday coming up. Too. Yes. Yes, Scorpio. Having a you. Scorpio mom, it's something, you know, Scorpio mom is a thing. Why do you say that? It's something about Scorpio moms. What about? Um, I'm glad you guys are very, um, well, y'all are protective, but y'all are also, like, very, um, just, like, direct and, like, strong. Like, you know, this is what it is, this is what it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't play. Well, I am who I am. <laughs> and I don't uh, deny that. So. She don't play. Yeah. So, yes, we've been so grateful to have you here, Mommy. Well, it's been a blessing to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And baby Eden, this is her, this is her special. Well, all her grandbabies special, but this one was born on my stepdad's birthday. So, she calls her. Granny girl, <laughs> that's, that's my right. granny girl. Well, she's like, I want to lay down. <laughs> well, that's who she is. You got all grand girls. Five. Five grand girls, no boys. One great grandson. Mhm. Mm that's how it's gonna be with all when all of them have kids. They don't have boys. I do not Probably, want a boy. I, I, you don't want a boy. <laughs> I want one boy and one girl. That's it. Well, I was actually born into a family with five boys and me. 
See, Five? maybe. Yes, we have a. I had a little brother here under me who passed. Oh my goodness! I thought when he was older. Was, uh, no, he was here under me. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, we love you, mom. Yeah, I love you guys. We appreciate you. 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 I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so David just going to take the babies to school and I got to figure out what are you going to do with this hair? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. my hair. What are you guys going to do today? He just said he got some things planned for us okay. to do during the day. So I'm just going to wing it. What's up, y'all? It is my birthday. Hey, hey. That's really not the vibe. I am so tired. When I say I am tired, it's, it's uh, on another level. So, anywho, let's get into some birthday glam. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do some birthday glam with y'all. And I'm going to go from there. I already kind of filled my brows. I don't think I'm going to talk through this, y'all, because I'm really too tired. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Anywho, I don't know what my husband's plans are for me today. But I love this. My moisturizer is angel face. I just want to be cute. It's crazy because this is like the last day that my mom is here, which means I'm not going to have a sitter for the baby for a while. So it's just going to be me and my husband um, for a while because... We don't have anybody else here that we trust with our babies. Well, with the baby baby. So, let's get into some glam. I'm getting all the birthday texts. I'm feeling so special. Like, <laughs> thank y'all. I don't know. Like, this is a thing. Because I had this conversation the other day with my husband. And I know there are some people who are, like, not big on birthdays or you know, whatever. But then you have people like me where if it is anybody's birthday, to me, that is just so special. Like that's big. That is the day that God brought you here on this earth. That is the day that you get to say no. You get to say no to everything and everybody. And guess what? Nobody can say anything about anything because it's your day birthdays to me are just big and i mean if i ran across a stranger who wasn't doing nothing for their birthday i will find the best way possible to celebrate them because i just think that birthdays are so important and i'm just a birthday girl i'm just a birthday girl this year we're gonna do something cute and i don't know he didn't tell me i just know we have dinner plans i don't know who's coming i don't know where it's at i don't know if we're doing something before i don't know anything but today is my birthday and we just plan to celebrate um all day as soon as I get myself dressed and get my hair combed. I am dreading combing my own hair. But I am excited about doing my own makeup. Because my makeup is like, you know, I took it a couple like steps down from like what it used to be. It's not as difficult as it used to be to me. It don't take as long. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to dig into some of these um, new products that I got. And get into this birthday glam, honey. Get into this birthday glam. Because it's about to be cured. About to be true. I might have to listen to something to wake me up. I am so tired, y'all. I'm so sad. I think my hair is getting fuller. I just took my braids out last night. Well, yesterday. So anyway, let's get into some birthday glam. Oh, last year we kept a real simple, real cute. I just did like a little birthday trip to Miami. Um, me and the hubby, we stayed out in Brickle. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out that vlog so you can see how my birthday went last year. I'm giving birthday vibes all October, honey. Birthday vibes all October. So it is. And yes, this is my little new baby here. You can't see her. Can you see her little face? She's so precious. So, yeah. Let's get into this glam though. So I was right. You were too good to be true. Was this love fulfilling? Or did I just fill my void like a fool? That final night When you sit down, I miss you I believe it did not Cause it felt like the right thing to do, yeah Cause it feels like I
y'all so my dress did not come in time from revolve and we had to go last minute shopping i went to akira and just grabbed the best thing that i saw it was rough because you know i'm going through this postpartum transitional phase with my body but i got something and my friends showed up for me and i was so grateful i just had like an intimate dinner experience and we went to knife i had never been there but it's a cute um steak restaurant in atlanta it was super super chill super super cute vibes and hubby got me a birthday cake he also got me some flowers which i was not expecting but yeah it was just a chill night and i'm just so grateful and thankful to be able to see my 37th year of life and share these moments with my family and close friends i don't care what your life looks like right now but just take a second and think about the things that you're grateful for no matter what and celebrate that thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video don't forget to like and subscribe i'm sorry i'm running a little late on my vlogmas vlogs but honey they're coming so make sure you check out the next video and i will see y'all next time